Okay, good morning, people. Just want to uh, touch on a few little highlights this morning while I'm thinking of it. Uh, some of you guys are struggling with these little Woodruff keys, uh, putting them in, keeping them in. Just get you a little bottle of uh, super glue gel, put a couple of drops in that little slot, set your Woodruff key down in it with a pair of needle nose, let it set for a few minutes, bang, it ain't going nowhere. Then you can grab your magnet, slide it on without having to fight the damn thing, falling off, chasing it around, getting it stuck on the back of the magnet. It's in the hole. It's there. It'll be there when you pull the magnet back off for whatever reason. Also, that little seal, I kind of cheat on those before I put them in. I put just a little bit of that same super glue gel around the outside lip of the rubber just before I push it into a clean, dry hole. Push it in flush, give it a little bit, wipe it down real good, let it set, let it cure, bang, that seal ain't going nowhere either. Okay, once you get that done, you get your magnet put on, you get your fuel coil put on, you get your nut on it. Now here's something else I want to touch on. All you guys have seen me using these tools that I use to start these engines on the bench. Okay, a lot of you have started using this. They're all over eBay and Amazon. These little black uh, PT tools that you can change directions on by just by ratcheting the little red ring. Let me tell you, I thought this was a good idea and I started using them. The problem is they don't freewheel near good enough for it to work on these. When you try to start that engine here, 80% of the time it's going to spin the nut off and after a while you've got really messed up threads, the nut won't stay on. The best thing to do is just not even use these. I've had people strip out the threads. Just, just don't use it. Uh, until we can come up with something better, just remember that Mr. Groovy has on his website the one for all his electric start, his drill start engines. He has these on his website. It is designed for his engines to be used right there in these little holes. That's what it's for. Okay? It has an instant release going the opposite direction. So you don't have to worry about it unscrewing this this bolt over here. The same way with that little test tool that he has made uh, that I use on this side. This has never ever unscrewed a nut. Uh, hopefully he will find a way to start mass producing these because they worked unbelievably well. 200% better than these damn things. I mean, this will get it started, but trust me, you've got to be so careful with these threads. Uh, that's a pretty fragile end there. It's pretty small. So you guys just keep that in mind. If you want to do a drill start, maybe you need to just stick with the engines that's got the drill start on the other side. Use it, uh, get his little tool, then you got no problems. Uh, but other than that, super glue your woodruffs, uh, eliminates all your problems down the road. Uh, but it's not held so tight, you can't take a pair of little side cutters and pull it out right out of there in case you need to split the case. But on this side, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can split the case and the woodruff key does not need to come out. So, anyway. With all that garbage that I just told you, y'all keep all that in mind, okay? Have a super day. Hope your week goes really well. Bye for now.